BYU alumni here with us on our True Blue football special. Welcome back to the stadium. Well, thank you very much. What's it like as a former tight end from, from the Ty Detmer era, we'll call it, to, to come back onto the field and, and breathe in the air here? It's a unique experience. I was talking to one of the, ex, uh, one of the for, uh, current players on the team, and he asked me that question, what is it like? And uh, as I looked out at, at the stadium, and it's all empty, I just thought back, 70,000 screaming fans. And there's nothing like when you make that one play to make everyone stand up and go, yeah. <laughs> and it's, there, there, there's nothing better in the world than that feeling at that moment. Well, there you are making some of your plays. Uh, <laughs> on more than one occasion, people stood up and, and screamed their head off. And you had Ty Detmer throwing you the football. You came 20 years later, one of the Denny boys. whole family's played on the defensive line at BYU. As you look at the defense from a year ago, where, do, where, where can they go and get better for this fall? They were pretty good. They were good. And, you know, I think a lot of it came from the excitement. They just they played with a lot of excitement. And, um, you know, keeping Kyle around, I think they'll, they'll hopefully maintain some of that. He's a, he's a fun player to watch, and it's exciting to, to see him do the things he can do. And so I think they'll maintain that. We're going to look at some of, of your highlights as, uh, as you played out here at BYU a few years back. And, and one thing we've sensed from the offensive players we've had on this show, or the defensive players, rather, they're really excited that the offense has has uh, made some significant changes. When the offense goes out and does something good, what does that do to your defensive unit? Oh well, yeah, it pumps you up and then you, you know you can trust them. And, and when they go out, you know that they're gonna be on the field for a while and maybe not with this offense, but you know, give you some time to catch your breath and, and get ready to go again, and it's exciting. Chris, you're one of the great tight ends has played at BYU, but it's been a while since that position has delivered what it used to do. How can it get back on track? Well, I was watching the, uh, the spring game last week with my son. I asked my son, where do you want to sit? Do you want to sit down where you can see the players or up on high? Because I want to sit up on high because I want to see the plays. And as I was watching the plays develop, I really noticed that the way uh, Robert has the offense going, I'm not worried about the tight end being a major part of the offense like it was not a part of the offense for the past couple of years. I think Robert's going to do a great job bringing that, that position back into the offense. Now, be honest, when you went back into the huddle with Detmer and all those guys, how many times did you tell Detmer you were open on every Oh, play? every time. <laughs> every time. I was always open. Always open. I remember playing in the, in the Holiday Bowl. I, uh, I was running, a, it's called the 69H op, option. And I picked my guy against the, the, the inside referee. And so I was wide open. And when Ty threw the ball deep, I'm looking, I'm going, I'm open. He goes, well, I know, Chris, but so was the other guy. <laughs> and he had to remind me that every now and then someone else has to get the ball besides me. Well, you got a lot of passes and you made a lot of tackles. Chris, Brett, thank you for being with us on our show today. And welcome back to Lavelle Edwards Stadium.